Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh. And today I wanted to do a market review of the SPY because the SPY sold off today in a gap up. And I saw a tweet last night from Market Watch, or it was two days ago actually, that I wanted to respond to. And I'm doing this video for that response and also for all the people that follow me on YouTube and my following out there in social media and my clients. The market has only been open for eight trading days since the beginning of the year. I know to some people that seems like forever, but it's actually not that long. It's a week and a half, which is nothing, okay? There's 52 weeks in the year. We seem like we have traded down since we started the year, but the reality is it's only been eight days. So let's put some things into perspective. And I wanted to follow up from Market Watch's tweet because they are calling that the correction could come all the way into 160, that the market could pull all the way into here. This is an area, this is an area of support in the market. It is very, very far away. Do I think that we get down here? No, okay? I do not. I don't think we get down there for a lot of reasons. First of all, let me just say, if we do get down in here, we're still in an uptrend. I hate to burst everyone's bubble, but if we get down in there, we're still gonna be holding. But it, we are definitely still in an uptrend here, even with the drop off we've had in the last week, okay? The market is in an uptrend. Now, the reason that I'm saying that we are higher this year, because I am, I'm saying 2016 is gonna be a year where the market makes, again, another all-time high in the SPY. Previous one was up around 213.75. Yeah, I think the highest we got was 213.78-ish. We didn't quite get up to 215 or 214, but we got pretty close last year in 2015. I'm calling the market to get over that number for 2016. And not only that, to have an extremely bullish year, my call about two weeks ago was I said the market would have a definable trend this year, but it would take a little while for it to play out. That's what is happening. It's taking a little while to play out. But now everyone's panicking, everyone's selling, everyone thinks we're lower. A lot of people think we're in a downtrend. We're not. A lot of people, like I said, think we're going to pull in harder, fall, and market watch is saying we're coming into 160 area. We're, I don't believe that even happens. Even if it does, we're still holding in an uptrend. But I don't think that happens, and here's why. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh, and I named my company The Stock Swoosh because it's actually a play I invented in the market. It's something I saw in the market a long time ago when I was teaching myself how to trade, and it's something that is one of the best things that I ever invented and created. I actually made it up. I made up the name. I made up the whole trade, and it's one of the most amazing things that I've ever discovered in the market. It's like a discovery. I discovered gold in the market when I discovered this thing called The Stock Swoosh, and I named it appropriately because it... It, it opens and it swooshes and it almost makes a sound that the trading action happens so quickly and so fast. It is an institutional position that happens in stocks of the market. It is very rare for a stock swoosh to happen in an ETF. Now, this is the SPY ETF. It's the S&P 500. But usually stock swooshes, bullish or bearish, happen in stocks. But they can happen in anything that trades. They only happen in gaps. My strategy is golden gaps. So... I use a 26-point rating system. What is the reason that I am calling the market higher? Because, well, there's a bunch of reasons, a lot of reasons, but the one massive reason is that on this day here, on August 24th, 2015, the market gapped down. This is a gap down you could have rated per my 26-point rating system to see if you could have shorted it. It did not rate good as a short. I did not short this this day. If you shorted this this day, you didn't make any money. It wasn't a short. Now, that's one reason now, what's another reason? Because the market this day opened and stocks swooshed. <laughs> opened at 187.49. See the square up there in the corner to the left, okay? Traded down to 182.40. It opened it at a stock swoosh. It did a, a bearish swoosh. Then it negated the swoosh, went over the high of the stock swoosh, and then actually got bought. High on the day was 197.47. Now, just look. So from the low of this tail, it's 182.40, and the high of this bar here is 197.47. So what I'm saying is that in all the eight years I've traded, I have never seen a stock swoosh be negated and then get bought the way that this happened in the SPY, S&P, on this day, which I call the anomaly day because it was an anomaly that happened to the market. It's very rare to see something like this. It's very something unique and special and rare. That's why I'm calling it the anomaly day, and that is a great name for it, and it works, but Again, you would never know what I know unless you took my Golden Gap class, unless you're me, 
that this day is so powerful in the market. Not only because it was a golden gap that did not rate well as a short, but it was a gap, okay, and I only trade gaps, but it's also the fact that it opened and stock swooshed, negated the swoosh and got bought. So what I'm saying is that this institutional positioning in the market that took place on this anomaly day is so powerful that this is signifying that the market's higher and will make a new high. Now, could we retest this? Yes. Do we have to? No. Do I think we're going to? No, not necessarily. We may not even. Okay, don't, don't count your chickens until they're hatched here. So for all the people that are short this market, which, which to me is not correct because of the fact we're still in an uptrend, uh, be careful. The market, in my opinion, is still higher. And the number one reason I'm saying that is because of the gap ratings. I rate gaps bullish and bearish, and I don't see the follow through of selling that's gonna continue in this market. And then also this strength of this bar here, that the stock swoosh happened, got negated, and that it got bought. And this is something that is so powerful that, that no one knows but me out there, and I made it up, and that's why no one knows unless you did my Golden Gap class. And so my prediction is the market's going to make another all-time high this year. And, and I'm just telling you one thing right now. It could come in sooner than later because once the buying starts to come back into this market, it could blow through this eight-day sell-off, which, again, like I just said earlier, is nothing okay, in the life of the market. It could blow through it like nobody's business, blow out all the shorts, blow through the over the high, just completely blow higher. And it will be unexpected to everyone on the planet but me. I think I'm the only one on the planet that still believes the market's going to make another new high before the end of the year. And not only that, sooner rather than later, because I don't think this continues really in here. And I, I, I really don't even think it's going to be retested. It could be if it wants to be. But I'm telling you, the reason I'm calling the market higher and that 160 is not likely going to happen is because it would have to go under the stock swoosh that happened that day for that to happen. And, and what I'm saying is no one understands the power of the stock swoosh but me because I invented it. I invented this and it is real and it works and it is one of the most powerful things that ever happens in any chart. I have never seen this happen in the market where a stock swoosh happened and then got negated and, and, and then reversed. This is so powerful. I cannot wait to see if this holds or not, it is it is amazing. Even if it doesn't hold, we're still in an uptrend, but I'm telling you, this is phenomenal. And if you understand the power of this, you can, you can make money trading in the market. You don't get something like this all the time. It is rare to happen in ETF, but it absolutely happened in the SPY. It is there and it is real. And it was institutional buying that came into the market on this day after institutional selling. And I'm telling you, it's phenomenal. So if you'd like to learn more about what the stock swoosh is since I invented it, and if you would like to take my Golden Gap class, email me at melissaatthestockswoosh.com. So again, my market call is that we will not go down to 160 at all, uh, that we will hold this area here. And we could retest it, but I'm not even sure if that happens because, because of the power of the stock swoosh. Have a great night, everyone.